Hello and welcome to our Creation ModCon gameplay showcase. My name is Heavy Burns, the resident video guy here at Sky Oblivion, and today I'm going to walk you through one of Oblivion's most iconic side quests, Mazoga the Orc. Our showcase begins in the lower class district of Leowin, and we'll need to make our way over to the palace to start the quest. Thankfully, each city guard in Sky Oblivion can give you directions yes. to various points of interest around town. What are you looking for? Let's ask him about Leywin's landmarks. The castles to the east, and the chapel near the west gate. Shops, guilds, and inns are south of the chapel, and some shops are by the north wall. Just like Oblivion, guards can be rather useful. Go bother someone else. And just like Oblivion, they can also be rather rude. Castle Leowin is the seat of power governing this region of Blackwood, and thanks to Leowin's famous shipping ports, the city stands as one of the wealthier locations in Cyrodiil, and thus has created an allure for aspiring heroes to seek out knighthoods. When crafting each palace in Sky Oblivion, their walls, rugs, and decor are designed to adorn their banner colours, and conveniently, it looks like Mazoga is patiently hanging around Leowin's particularly green entrance hall. But first, we'll go ahead and speak to the city's illustrious count. Marius Caro, by grace of the Nine, Count Leowin. You are a stranger to me, but well met. Perhaps you would like to do a service for County Leowin. Here we can inquire into his offer of service. I need your help. An orc named Mazoga here claims to be a knight, but will not reveal her business. Find out why she is here and report to me, and you will earn a reward suitable for those who serve Leowin. Prompt attention to this matter will be rewarded. Now that we know a little about her presence here, we'll go find out what exactly this self-proclaimed knight wants from Count Marius Caro. Are you the Count? The Count? Then I can talk to you. I'm Mazoga. Yes, I'm an orc. I was born under a rock and I have no parents, so I don't need a family name. I guess you don't know how to talk to a knight, so I'll teach you. Say, yes, Sir Mazoga. All right then, just don't forget. I'm a free knight. I don't have a lord. You got a problem with that? All right, then. There's an Argonian named Weebumna in town. Go get him for me. Go tell him I want to see him. Here. Right now. Let's go speak to this Weebumna. Get a move on, will you? Just like in Skyrim, NPCs in Sky Oblivion will have daily routines. In this instance, Weebemnar is spending his morning soaking in the rather rare sunny weather here in Leowin. I'm Weebemnar. What do you want? So, an orc wants to see me, and this interests me how. Did I forget how much I like you, so I should do this favor for you? Maybe I just don't like you very much, so I'm not going. All NPCs will have a disposition level towards the player. One way we can increase this is by sweetening the pot a little. That will get you something. I see. So an orc named Mazoga wants to see me, and she expects me to come to her. I don't know her. I'd be smart to ignore her. But... I never learned anything by being smart, and you seem to be a right skipper. So I guess I'll have to go see what this is about. Thank you. Let's meet him back at the castle. You are Weebamna? Yes. I want to go to Fisherman's Rock. Where's that? Fisherman's Rock is north of Leowin. About six hours' walk, on a point of land on the eastern shore of the Nibbin. Take me there, now! I'm in a hurry! Why? 
That's my business. Then, if you won't tell me why, I won't take you anywhere. Then to hell with you! Seems like that didn't go as Masoga might have planned. Let's speak to her and see what her interest is in Fisherman's Rock. Weebomna won't take me to Fisherman's Rock. You know where it is? Take me there, now! Oviparous, oviparous. This guy, Mogan's Windshifter, he camps at Fisherman's we... Rock. So you take me there, and I talk to him, and then we see what happens. You hear me? I talk to him first. No smashing in his teeth or chopping off his head. Understand? A new scent is here. Who can it be? Could be. You know how it is. But not until I'm finished talking. The Argonian says it's north of Leowin, about six hours walk on the east bank of the Nibbon. Let's get moving. Well, I guess we're off to Fisherman's Rock. What are we waiting for? Oh, this is gonna be a joy. Cyrodiil's landmass is split up into nine distinctly different regions. One of those nine regions is Blackwood, a large swampland bordering the Blackmarsh border, the home of the Argonians. As you might have noticed, this region is famous for its humid, foggy weather and swampy wetlands. Our landscapers have spent hundreds of hours making this gloomy region a memorable and distinct biome that lives up to its described lore. We want players to truly feel the diversity of Cyrodiil's landmass, and quite clearly know when they have crossed a border into a new region. It looks like we're coming up to Fisherman's Rock just ahead. Let's let Mazoga take the lead on this one. Remember me? No, who are you? I'm Mazoga. You killed my friend Ravindra. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a lying bastard. You killed Ravindra, and now I'm going to kill you. This ah, get this over with! <laughs> 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 I kept my oath. Mogan's Windshifter is dead. Mogan's Windshifter had a gang. They robbed and killed travelers. But Ravindra saw and told the guards. Mogan's got away. But first he killed Ravindra. My best friend, Ravindra. That day, I became a knight and swore a knight's oath. I searched a long time and asked everyone. Then I finally heard he was hiding at Fisherman's Rock. So now you know everything. You helped me, and I won't forget. Take what you want from the dead. I came to keep my oath, and now I'm done. When I saw my friend killed, I swore I'd be a true knight and right all wrongs. So now I gotta do some good deeds. I don't know much about being a knight, but I'm gonna learn. Say. You did me a good deed. You ought to be a real knight yourself. Thanks for the help. You're okay. Now that we've fulfilled Mazoga's wish, let's report back to the Count. I hope you've been successful. Have you learned why the Orc is here? Such vengeance is a noble deed. Leowin thanks you for your service and I have a fitting reward for such noble deeds. I address my offer to you and your friend. Would you like to become Knight's Errant? I have created a chivalric order of the White Stallion. Find and kill the leader of the Black Bow Bandits, the Orc, named Black Brugo. If you succeed, I will bestow on both you and Mazoga the titles of Knights Errant of the White Stallion for your service to Leowin. Brandy and Cumber the outlaw, Black Brugo, is a menace to County Leowin. They call his marauders Black Bow Bandits because they use black bows 
Find Black Brugo and execute him for his crimes, and I will make both you and your friend Mazoga knights errant of the White Stallion. In her shadowy past, your friend Mazoga might have had contacts with outlaws. Ask her. Remember, a knight's title shall be your reward. In order to become knight errant to Leowen, we're going to have to complete one last task for the Count. I know Brugo. Long ago, back before I became Sir Mazoga, I split a share or two with Brugo. Brugo's a jerk. He's got a hideout in a ruin called Telepi. Every night between midnight and 6 a.m., he stops there to pick up his take. We're pals, right? So we'll kill Black Brugo and be knights. I'll wait right here until you ask me to follow you. Black Brugo is an infamous orc bandit leader reigning in the Blackwood region. And it looks like the sun will be setting soon, so let's find our way over to his camp in order to catch him when night falls. This seems like the place, the alien ruin known as Telepe. But it's looking like we might need to kill some time before Brugo will reveal himself. As it seems he's away from his camp for a few hours, we have ample time to head inside the ruin and see what kind of treasures we can find. Then hopefully by the time we're done, the sun would have set. Dungeon design is extremely important to us, and we want to ensure that no dwelling feels boring or unenjoyable. In this instance, it seems like the gate ahead is closed, so we'll have to find a way to get through. Telepe is an alien ruin, but it's being used as a bandit outpost, so the team wants to reflect that through the clutter we place and the types of loot you'll find. Hello, Mazoga. Ah, this button should work wonders on that gate back there. Looks like we have company. Jump on my sword while you can! <laughs> 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 Perfect, this room is now open. It seems like the bandits never found their way in here, so there must be ancient alien loot lying around. Oh dear. This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. That was a first look at Skyblivion's brand new Alien White, ancient elves that act as guardians to the more unexplored depths of Alien Ruins. Additionally, we have also created more elven treasure and loot to scavenge around these ruins. But now we've found a bit of ancient treasure, we should check the remaining room in the ruin to see if the bandits have left us anything of use behind. This seems to be mostly where the bandits resided. Cozy. It is extremely important to us that when the player explores many of Sky Bolivian's dungeons, they truly believe that the creatures, bandits, or spectres that call that place home actually use it as such, and thus we put hours and hours of work into handcrafting each dungeon to be an immersive and believable experience. And just like Mazoga said, it seems this was the payment Black Brugro is coming to collect tonight. I'm going to throw an assumption out there and assume he probably won't need this when he's dead. After a successful tomb raid, I think it's about time we fulfilled that oath and headed outside to see if night has fallen and if Brugo has come to collect his debt. Well, it's definitely night and it seems like voices are coming from behind the ruin. Die. I'm going to bleed slow. Pathetic. 
Many unique weapons in Skyblivion have special effects that will aid you in combat. The weapon you've been seeing throughout this showcase is the Trudgeon of Submission, which knocks enemies down when their stamina is depleted. Now that Black Brugo is dead, let's head back and finish looting his corpse. Black Brugo is one of the many unique enemies you can encounter in Sky Oblivion. From bandit bosses to goblin warlords, mysterious spirits, or possibly even some special mud crabs, this showcase has barely scratched the surface of the content included in the game. But for now, we have a quest to turn in and collect our rank of Knight Errant. I hope you are here to tell me of Black Brugo's death. What news do you have of Black Brugo? Justice has been done, and henceforth, Mazoka and you shall be known as Knights of the White Stallion. May I present you with the perquisites of your rank, a key to White Stallion Lodge, and a shield bearing the arms of County Leowen. Mazoga's key and shield shall be delivered to her directly, and I promise you a bounty of 100 gold for each black bow you bring me. I see you have a black bow. Would you like to turn it in for the bounty? Here is your reward. Well done, and thank you. Each black bow you bring me means another black bow bandit slain. Did you tell the Count about Black Brugo? So, am I a knight? God's ghoulies. Not just a knight, but a, a knight errant. That's a real special kind of knight, right? So go on, say it. Say, I greet you, Sir Mazoga. Thank you kindly, Sir Knight. Sounds good. Damn good. I'm a knight errant now, and I don't care who knows it. So thank you. You've been good to me, and I won't ever forget it. So I better get started doing my good deeds, and maybe I'll see you at the White Stallion Lodge. Goodbye. Good day, Sir Knight. And that is just one out of over 50 side quests you can discover in your time exploring Cyrodiil. We hope you enjoyed this gameplay showcase. The team has came a long way since the project began, and though we have a release year of 2025, that does not mean the work is finished, or that we aren't accepting new recruits. If you have the skills required to help us finish this incredible feat, please consider applying at www.skyblivion.com forward slash volunteer. Skyblivion has been a labour of love from all involved, and we cannot wait to show the world everything we've been working on. And recently we have released a roadmap detailing exactly what we have finished and what we have left. Despite the massive scope of this project, we are finally seeing the end of the road, but there is still much work to be done. We hope that this showcase has given you a better insight into the project, and maybe how you might contribute yourselves. Only with the Elder Scrolls modding community's talent and the support of this fantastic community could we have ever gotten as far as we have. We hope you continue to support us as you have for years, and we are excited to show you much more. This has been Heavy Burns, have a wonderful ModCon everybody, and we cannot wait to show you so much more of Sky Oblivion. <laughs>